Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Meg. I do fashion lifestyle videos every single week. Check out my Instagram where I post daily. And today, as you can tell by the title, we are doing yet another Zara haul. This is going to be a spring inspo video because obviously spring is coming up in a couple of weeks and there will be a part two. So this is more like casual wear, jean type vibe. And then next week's video is going to be more dressy. So like blazer dresses, cords, floral patterns, skirts. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on part two. And let's get into the video. So here is the first fit, as you can see it's kind of a mix between casual and a bit more dressy probably because of my makeup and my accessories but I literally love this outfit so much. Just for reference, I'm normally a 6 to 8 on the top or like an extra small to small then on the bottom I am normally a 10 and occasionally I will be a size 8 if it's like really elasticated. So in jeans I tend to be a 10, I've got these in a waist 38 which I think is a 10. Um, I always have this problem with my waist where there's literally a gap so I'd have to wear a belt with this because Zara don't really do elasticated bottoms which is a big reason why I don't really shop there but they look nice from the front so let's just focus on the front and if you have a different body type to me that is not an issue. So these are like ripped distressed jeans they're very long actually but i think they look so so nice especially with this top because it's so like tight into the skin this top i got in extra small to small and i think it is unreal like i'm literally obsessed with it they have different colors in this as well but brown is like one of my favorite colors at the moment and a lot of people's favorite color so i had to get something in brown and i still think it's perfect into spring as well i've been searching for an oversized white shirt for a while and i went for this one but it's more of a kind of I don't even know what the material is called, like canvas kind of material. It's not so shirty, it's more kind of slouchy. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think with this specific outfit it works, but with other outfits I'm not sure it's exactly what I'm looking for. I got this in a medium for reference, but I wouldn't say it's crazy oversized considering I'm normally a small. But yeah, together I think this whole fit works so well. Okay, so gilets or gillets, whatever you want to call it, are really in at the moment. I've been trying to get my hands on this one, but they did not have it. So I'm praying that they will have it in stock when I do my next video because I just really like the fact that it's so petite, small and kind of cropped. This one obviously isn't, but I still got it because I want to see what it looks like. And I semi love it, semi hate it. I think it's because I don't like the actual fabric of it. It reminds me of like a chavy. I just would prefer something that doesn't really reflect as much if that makes any sense. So I do vibe with this as a whole outfit, I would wear this. And I got this in an extra small for reference, which I would say fits absolutely fine. And then I paired it with this crop top, which is so flattering, so comfortable and fits like a dream. This is an extra small to small, probably do other colors, can't really remember, but I just feel like it's such a nice staple crop top. It's kind of got the three quarter sleeves, perfect for spring when it's kind of warming up but not hot enough to wear t-shirts. I just don't have anything bad to say about this top, so so again, I think they all work together, but the gilet, gillet, I'm not sure that's something I would go for. Okay, so I don't know if you can notice, but these do not fit me. I got a small because sometimes if I'm picking between small and medium, I kind of want them to be quite tight on the waistline, but these are tight on my whole leg, can barely move. This bit is about to rip. So if you are kind of between an eight and a 10, but Virgin got more of a 10, I would opt for a medium in these. I kind of just assume that when you have cuffed joggers, they're more kind of baggy in the middle, but these ones are definitely not. They're more kind of to the skin. So definitely size up if you are in between sizes. Despite them not fitting though, I think the color is so beautiful for spring. I'm really trying to get more pastels in my wardrobe, so this would have been a perfect option. And obviously they do different colors as well. This top, I remember this time last year, I tried one of their tops that was literally the same as this, but blue. Again, they have lots of different colors. I do really like them, but I also feel like the straps are that kind of fragile that I could just see them snapping. Not that there'd be any reason for them to snap, but also it's just such a tiny top. I think I'm just not used to wearing this little fabric on my top half maybe and I just need to get used to it. Also they're a little bit loose so I think that might be a problem as well because I don't want to have to pull the top down and I'm hoping this isn't see-through because I did put a bra on with it and I was like that looks so bad so I think you'd either have to go with nipple covers or maybe like a strapless bra. It is close to being see-through so you have to be careful and I would recommend maybe a darker colour. Now we move on to some new trends that I still haven't managed to get into my wardrobe. So jackets, absolutely a fan of. At first I really didn't like them. I don't know what my problem was, but I think because I hadn't tried one on myself, I was just convinced that it wasn't gonna look good. And I feel like it does. I really like this color. I'm trying to get more neutrals into my wardrobe because when I tell you I have none, 
I have none because I was convinced neutrals didn't work on my skin tone but I have got tan on right now so I feel like it looks extra good but I don't think neutrals actually wash me out as much as I think they do so I need to start getting some because they look amazing on other people. So this is a small, as you can see it's oversized, I love the length of it as well. Of course I always have to get a bag for the haul so this matches pretty much perfectly to the jacket, it was £20. Lovely little mini bag, I don't need any more mini bags but I just put one in for the purposes of accessorising because I feel like it really brings together the vision of an outfit, at least for me anyway. And and then the star of the show, the flares actually have a cut out which I absolutely love. But like I said, me and Zara don't get on in terms of bottoms. I struggle so, so bad because of my figure. So they just come up too low. So they're not gonna work for me, but from the front, they look perfect. So I'm really upset that they don't fit. These are a medium, so I did size up. I would recommend that if you are in between sizes because they fit perfect. It's just because my proportion. So if you don't have a curvier booty and your waist goes back in, you might be fine. But yeah, it's not quite cutting it for me. I am in love with this top. I love puffer sleeves. I've loved them for a whole year now, ever since they started coming into fashion, and I'm so glad that they're still here. I just think it adds a little bit of oomph to your outfit, especially if you're just wearing some simple trousers for like a date night, cocktail night, even just if you're going out shopping in the day, I just think it adds a little bit more character to the top. Definitely a little bit of sass, and I love that they're not the same color, like this is what's really drawing me to this specific top. Most of the time it is one solid color top, but I feel like it adds even more character that the sleeves aren't the same color, but they're both neutral, so it's not like overwhelming, oh my god, puffer, two-tone, none of that. I think it is such a nice staple top to have in your wardrobe. I got this in a size small, so as you can see, it is quite a long top. You've got a lot of room in there, so it's definitely not tight-fitting, but I don't think you'd want this type of top to be anyway. Obsessed. This top is beautiful, but obviously not great when you are prone to bloating like I am. Naturally, I hold my stomach in anyway when I'm wearing crop tops, but I just feel like this one might be a bit too exposing. Unless I have some like crazy high-waisted jeans or trousers, then I think I could get away with it, but, but it is so flattering. I love the sleeves, the kind of frill detail. The color's amazing. Again, perfect for spring slash summer. I wasn't expecting it to look this nice on. I don't even know why, but I'm just pleasantly surprised. I'm debating whether to keep it or not because I am literally in love with it, but I need to think about how practical and comfortable I'd be wearing it out especially like I wouldn't wear it going for food because I'd look pregnant by the end of the day so maybe this is better for like a light picnic in the park but definitely very very cute got this in a small and you can also adjust it so it's a longer top as well I love that because it kind of gives you the versatility to decide how you want to wear it I'm someone who has never tried a Zara bodysuit before, but I've heard people rave about them. I have to say it's very soft and it does remind me of the AX Paris ones. Those ones feel literally the same. This one's a little bit loose on me. I got it in a small, but I reckon if I got an extra small, it would be way too tight. So I'm not sure the sizing works for me. I love the color, however, it goes really well with the bag and I would recommend wearing nipple covers. Why do I keep going to say nipple tassels? It's nipple covers, Jesus. Strapless bra wouldn't really work because you have got this part here. I do love that part the most, how it's kind of got a cut out, so it's a bit sexy. Not enough to give you a side boob but it's like almost giving you a side boob but if you had a bigger bust you probably would have um but i really like that detail but again very nice staple piece that i feel like would last years in someone's wardrobe So I know this is a weird combo having a hoodie and shorts, but I felt like shorts would be quite springy. And also spring is not warm every day, at least in the UK. So you still might need to put a hoodie over if it gets a little bit nippy. So I don't know if they work together, but I have seen people wear hoodie and shorts before. I've just not done it personally. I already have my trusty shorts from New Look that I've had for a few years because they're elasticated waist, they're gorgeous. So I knew these wouldn't work for me because they aren't elasticated and this is a result of it. Um, these are a 10, but if I got an eight, they'd be too tight on the leg. And this is why it doesn't work for my type of figure even with a belt it wouldn't be comfortable i got this in a medium and i didn't realize it's kind of cuffed around here but because it's a medium obviously it's oversized on me so the cuffing isn't very tight but it's nice to give a little bit of shape so like when you lift up you can see that it is cuffed and it's shorter than a standard hoodie so if you want something a little bit different then this is a good option obviously i got chocolate brown because it is such a gorgeous color i will probably still be wearing it into summer but like minimally but i do think it is such a beautiful color that i'm not quite ready to let go of yet because i really don't have anything in chocolate brown but i will after this video i'll be keeping that strappy top but yeah i feel like it's quite a nice casual fit but still fashionable thank you so much for watching my video if you did enjoy it don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified next time i post as i said next week it'll be more of a dresses going out type of haul from zara which i'm so excited for so do not miss out Thank you.